so from a long time i've just been creating videos talking about how to do this or how to do that and i haven't really been talking about my own life and i think that's really important to talk about so in today's video i will be talking about what all i did what all projects i took in the last one year and i'll just be talking about what was my experience like 2020 has just been an amazing year for me i have gotten so many new opportunities and so i just want to discuss those opportunities with you guys and just share my experiences all right there are a lot of opportunities over here i've just written it down but yeah let's get started with this video guys But before that, this video is sponsored by Unacademy. If you don't already know, I am a plus educator at Unacademy. And recently, Unacademy is organizing a two-day free event called Time Out with Unacademy's Creative Corner, where they'll be talking about a lot of creative skills and how can you learn these skills. I myself am organizing my own free class called 10 Amazing Applications of Python. But I'll just be talking about what are the applications of Python and how can you, you know, implement Python to create some amazing projects. Along with me, there are also other educators on Unacademy that are having their own free classes on topics like how can you become a better doodler, how can you become a better singer, how can you learn professional public speaking, how can you create your own first robot, how can you get better at mental mathematics, how can you learn Vedic mathematics. They'll be also be talking about how can you become a better storyteller and how can you create better stories. And uh, also they'll be talking about how can you learn magic tricks. Okay, so this will be a pretty fun event. It's completely completely free for all of you to register for this and enroll and watch this complete event. I hope you'll join us. The link to register for this event is in the description. So do check it out. Again, I have my own free class on 18th of October, 11 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, I hope to see you in that class. All right, with that, let's continue with today's video. First of all, make sure that you like this video and also if you want to get more videos from me and if you are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe to the channel as well. And uh, yeah, I am Nishan Sharma. If you don't already know, I pursue electrical engineering from Bits Pilani Goa campus and I recently have been trying out a lot of different things. Okay, so I just want to talk about those. So it was January of 2020 when I started my own podcast called Bitscast where I will be interviewing people. I'll just be learning from their journeys, from their experiences and sharing this content conversation between us between the two of us uh, with other people okay so that's why I started my own podcast I put it on YouTube as well it was only audio it wasn't anything interactive it wasn't anything uh, fun enough so this was the first opportunity for me okay I just started talking with people I started learning from their experiences and then I just shared this conversation with the world okay then in March of 2020 I got the chance to create content for DevSocks Instagram page okay so if you don't know what DevSock is DevSock is the developer society of bits pilani goa campus there i'm a part uh, i'm a member over there so basically what i do is that i create instagram carousals and instagram posts for the instagram page of devsock okay so i just did this because i wanted to learn about design and how how to create good pieces of content okay this has really helped me out to learn the complete process that you go through from the ideation stage to the execution stage and how to uh, you know bring out an actual product or a post okay so that's what i learned in this complete journey i've created a lot of posts you can check out there will be something over here do check out the instagram page of devsock i have created a lot of those posts and I really learned a lot about design okay what makes good design what makes people click on some post on social media so all of this really helped me out and because of this opportunity I was able to share my learnings with the world on LinkedIn as well and that is how I got my third opportunity okay it's all like a chain reaction I did this then I got this then I got this opportunity okay so the third opportunity was back in May of 2020 that is when I got the opportunity to join a startup I won't be taking its name but basically I joined it as a social media intern um, I had to create advertisement copies you know the, the actual poster as well as the copy that they'll be using to market uh, to basically advertise to their customers okay to the audience so that's what I used to do I also learned a lot about Facebook marketing I learned about how to create you know these ad campaigns on Facebook and Instagram so that was a really good experience for me but as you all know uh, I left that internship after just one week of being over there because I just didn't like the environment there was just too much work pressure I was just spending seven eight hours every single day and the pay was very less okay it was just like five thousand per month which is nothing okay so that's uh, what 
my third opportunity was okay i did get to learn a lot about how to create these campaigns on social media websites okay and then i also took a course on coursera called social media marketing it's a specialization i guess um and there they talk a lot about how to create these campaigns and how to analyze your campaigns so that was my third opportunity again i left it after just one uh, week if you want to know more about why i did that there should be a video up here or somewhere uh, on the screen that you can watch where i have talked about the reason i left that internship i left that and then came my fourth opportunity and that was youtube okay i was putting in constant effort from march of this year into creating youtube videos they were not good they were shaky at times the audio was miserable everything was low quality but i kept on creating youtube videos and just learning from my experiences learning from what the what the people will say about my videos and just learning from the feedback that i get okay that's what i did that was the fourth opportunity for me okay i started uh, getting money from the youtube videos that i used to make on july 18th i guess that was the time when my youtube channel got monetized and uh, that was just like some change that i was able to make it was around like 2 to 3 dollars that i used to make back uh, back in july of 2020 uh, so that was the fourth opportunity for me okay then let's talk about the fifth opportunity and that was a startup that i started working for and that is called code dam you must have recently checked out uh, the interview that i did with mehul mohan talking about software development how to start with software development as a college student uh, it should be somewhere up here do check it out uh, i'll link it in the description as well if you want to listen to the conversation it's like 1 hour long it was live uh, so yeah that was really amazing so basically code dam is a place for people to learn to code by applying their skills to create actual projects okay currently we are focusing on web development okay so we are, we are creating these road maps so that people don't get confused and they have a step by step road map okay so it's like first of all you learn html then you learn css then you maybe learn about tailwind css and then you can learn about javascript and then react okay so we have this complete road map uh for people who want to get started in the website codedam.com uh you can check out if you want to it is a startup that i am working for and i'm working on this project even today my basic role is to grow the startup with the help of just reaching out to new content creators onboarding new content creators and you know just emailing people that's what i uh, was doing as a uh, part of that startup uh, we recently applied for vc as well let's see what happens i'm really excited to see the result of vi combinator on 21st of october uh, let's hope we get some good news okay i'll be making a video if we get a good news as well okay so that's what i used to do with that startup even today i'm working over there we recently got our first b2b client uh, it's called akio job and with them we are working okay so that was another great thing that i did then let's talk about the sixth uh opportunity or the seventh i don't know <laughs> i have lost the, the count right now the sixth opportunity was that of able jobs uh freelance contract you can call it okay so basically able jobs is a, is a startup which helps to recruit people for customer service and sales jobs okay so they reached out to me through email and they were like uh we see that you've been creating this content can you also create content for our own youtube channel and so i was like sure we can do that and so with that i started creating content for their own youtube channel as well and uh, that has also been an amazing thing i am also currently working over there i create youtube videos for them you can check out their youtube channel if you want to okay so that was another opportunity for me and uh, it's like a freelance contract thing so basically how many videos i make i get paid on the basis of that all right so that was another great opportunity for me and then another opportunity was when i realized that podcasting is actually hard okay and so i started this service called pod infinity wherein i would just you know help people get started with podcasting i would uh, do live classes with people and uh, i have a few friend of mine who helped me out with this and so it was like a short lived service it was only for uh, for i guess 1.5 months started in june of 2020 ended in late july so that was uh, another service that i did i was not able to continue it because it took a lot of my time and i also was getting into my college year right my second year of college was starting 
So because of that, I was not able to focus on pod infinity. So I had to just uh, pause it and uh, uh, after that I just had to kill it. All right. So that was another opportunity. Now let's talk about the recent, the latest opportunity that, that I got and that was to become a plus educator on an academy. Okay. So I got this mail uh, in September, in early September and they were like, uh, you have been creating a lot of content. Um, you can also become an educator on an academy okay so that was how they reached out to me because of my youtube videos and so uh you know we had the first initial conversation and then uh, i got selected as a plus educator on the platform i teach python to kids uh anywhere in the age group of uh, let's say eighth graders to 12th graders okay so that's uh, what i have been doing recently i started on october of uh, 2020 and so far i've had around 10 classes it's been a great experience you can check me out on an academy as well <laughs> okay so that's uh, what i have done in this whole year it has been an amazing journey i've learned a lot i also got to publish my own book in july of 2020 that was another huge achievement and i'm really proud of what i did with the book there were also some minor things that i did so i created content on instagram on my own instagram profile okay so that's what i have also been doing you can also follow me on instagram at ishan sharma 7390 uh, and uh, I post it pretty much daily. I just talk about, you know, things like personal development. I talk about software development. You know, I just talk about basic things that college students go through and I just uh, talk about ways to mitigate through that. I guess the moral of the story is when you create content, when you get in front of people, when you show what you know and you talk about your process, that is when people start to relate to you and that is when you get more and more opportunities. I'm really grateful for all the opportunities that I have gotten. And and uh, I'm really optimistic for the next year where we'll be taking this to the whole new level. All right, guys, 2020 has just been an amazing year from me. It has been incredible to see these opportunities and uh, I'm just really grateful. But the one thing that I'm struggling with is my college. Uh, I'm actually pursuing electrical engineering, which I don't like the most. But you know, anyways, let's see what happens with that. So that's what I have done, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this was a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about this uh, episode. Do you want to see more of these videos where I talk about my own experiences with, with you know, freelancing or, or getting an internship or, you know, doing these doing these startup kind of things. I'm still working on Codam. Okay, so that's what I'm working on. I'm still working on Able Jobs. I'm still working on an academy. I just started. <laughs> okay, so yeah, guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, share this video and also like this video guys and also make sure that you sign up for the free event on an academy where i'll be talking about 10 amazing applications of python along with other educators okay so i hope you'll enjoy that one as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video Bye bye